Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. It is uncharted territory for America. Just as Donald Trump was the first president to be impeached twice, he's now the first ex-president to be indicted. The former president and his legal team were said to be caught off guard by the announcement. But shortly after the news broke, Mr. Trump and his wife Melania were spotted at his private club having dinner with supporters. Stephen Fabian begins our coverage. Donald Trump entertained guests at Mar-a-Lago last night, just hours after the stunning news of his indictment. Melania was at his side as he mingled with friends. Beautiful evening here at the gorgeous Mar-a-Lago, tweeted one guest, who said Trump was enveloped in the love of their friends and most loyal. But New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman says Team Trump was blindsided. There's no question that people around Trump were completely caught off guard by this. They did believe, uh, you know, the, the reports that the grand jury was done for a month. President Biden was asked if the indictment could further divide America. No, I, I'm not going to talk about something like this. Barricades are up outside Manhattan Criminal Court as the Secret Service and NYPD choreographed Trump's surrender. Anti-Trump demonstrators displayed this huge banner. I spoke with Bobby McDonald, a 20-year veteran of the Secret Service. How will this all go down next week? There's no playbook for this. Uh, there's no uh, time when we've done this before when we could look back and see what went well and what didn't go well. So this is going to be played by ear. You know, this is the first time in history that a protectee of the Secret Service has been indicted and going to be processed in a courthouse. Law enforcement reportedly staged a dress rehearsal here at the criminal courthouse for the former president's arraignment. He's expected to fly to New York on Monday and surrender on Tuesday afternoon at 2.15. Now, there is an underground entrance here at the court that the Secret Service may utilize to avoid the crowds that are expected. He'll be fingerprinted. There's no ink anymore on the fingerprints. It's just on a piece of glass and he'll get a photograph taken of him, known as a mugshot. That mugshot, will we see that? Will that be accessible to the public? Well, there's been a lot of things so far that we're not supposed to see and know about that we have. So if I'm going to bet $20, I'm going to bet that that mugshot will leak in short order. Firebrand pro-Trump Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeted, I'm going to New York on Tuesday. We must protest the unconstitutional witch hunt. We are coming on the air with historic news. This was how the stunning news of the indictment broke, with cable and broadcast networks breaking into programming. It is so overwhelming, so unsettling, and unprecedented. Historic headlines befitting the first former president in U.S. history to be indicted are splashed across the front pages of every major newspaper. Published reports say Trump faces 34 charges of business fraud related to hush money payments to former porn star Stormy Daniels. Trump attorney Jim Trusty says he believes the defense team will try to have the case dismissed before trial. I hope that in days or weeks at the most that we start seeing some very robust motions and, uh, and put the prosecutor on their heels where they shouldn't be on this case. Meanwhile, the late night comics are having a field day. I didn't know it would feel this good. Come on! He will be read his Miranda rights. Wait until he finds out all this time he had the right to remain silent. He's going to... Word is the former president will spend Monday night at Trump Tower, then head to Manhattan Criminal Court Tuesday morning to be booked.